Hey everyone, let me start by saying it's all my fault that the judges on American Idol were all freaky during the men's show last night. I tweeted to Ryan and his producers, what can we do to make the judges seem like they care? Little did I know this would lead to hugging and crying and mushy bananas. Hold on. I'm a social. Love you, bitch. What the fuck? The best part of American Idol this week was each night was only one hour and there were no boring interviews like, something you might not know about me is, move this shit right along. First up at the ladies was Katie Stevens' right song choice, flat performance. Like the judges said, she has struggled since Hollywood week and you can tell, they can only tell her she has a great voice so many times. Siobhan Magnus did very well again, great song choice, great lipstick, she is definitely top three of the ladies. Lacey Brown outdid herself by far her best but still not enough to keep her out of trouble. I love her eyes, I love her hair, her voice is Okay. Desperately seeking Caitlyn did that Carol King song and I love her, but the arrangement was sleepy and forgettable just like the judges said. By the time Dee Dee went, I was almost asleep. Three bar, boring, slow songs in a row. There's just such little wow this year. She's pretty, her voice is pleasant, Ryan wants to bone her. And then it went from dull to pure mess as Paige Miles sang Smile, one of the worst of all time. It looked like she was late and she was running to the microphone, probably trying to get some exercise at the last minute. Ellen said it was sad and heavy. She is clearly going home. Then Crystal saved the day. She is very unique and her teeth are getting whiter every week. In this sea of snooze, she is probably the one to beat right now. Though I can't imagine any of them winning this season right now, to be honest. Where's the star quality? It's such a singer-songwriter snooze fest. I want some bitch to belt it out of the park and you don't count Miss Seely. On to the men. Lee DeWise, paint job, kind of dull, but I still like him. Alex Lambert Jackson sounded great. Another guitar. It's the goddamn year of the guitar. If he gets a haircut, he can win the whole thing. Next was Tim Urban, three guitars in a row. He is definitely not the worst anymore. This is the one Ellen ran and hugged him, which seemed like a good idea in her brain at the time. I'll show you how I judge with hugs. Step it up, Ellen. Paula actually used to fuck the contestants. Andrew Garcia was the fourth guitar in a row. I love him. He's a YouTuber. I support him. It just wasn't very good. I think he's vulnerable. Like Katie, he has struggled since they have gone live. Casey, Candy, fifth guitar in a row, if you're still counting. He was good, not as good as that first week. His hair looked nice, pulled back. Lamb Chop, Aaron Kelly, no guitar, but he did bring a stool out there to keep him company. He has some good notes in there. I just don't see him going much farther, so I'm not invested. Poor Miss Seely. Todd Recall was next. I have no doubt he can tear it up in a production of Smokey Joe's Cafe, but this is not the venue for him. I appreciate he went for a Queen song, but it seemed like it was sharp and then flat and then sharp and then flat. He is definitely going home. Big Mike was fine, I guess. I was tweeting, this is American Idol, not church, Tyler Perry. Calm down. And then at the end, he was like, just make it go away. And I wish it would. And then Kara sprung into action. Hysterical. I was like, bitch, sit down. You are no Paula Abdul. And then she said something about not having a child and relating to the song. Can someone please knock her up and drag her out of there by her phony tail? And then she stood up again after Simon talked and she's looking around like, ooh, I hope the camera's getting this. And Ellen was like, I should have cried. <laughs> no one was ready for my hug. Thank you to the contestants for being a tiny better this week. Thank you to the judges for feigning interest. And thank you to me for tweeting live from my second channel, um, my second Twitter, Shut Up Box. So follow that if you want to see me during Idol, and I made it more bearable and watchable for you, right? What the fuck? I'm not just saying this because it's me. I think my tweets are better than the show. If you look back at the tweets from Shut Up Box, it's like, those are, comparatively, it's like, those are some great tweets versus not good singing. So it's like, this Twitter stream, which I am working, I am working, I'm in it to win it, like, you know, American Idol of Twitter, my tweets are better than their singing. I'm, I, I say that very comfortably for a fact. Thank you.